2017, regular monthly meeting of the Scarborough Sanitary District Trustees to order. Um, roll call. Joe Carroll. In the building. He's on his way. Joe He's in the building. Carroll is here. Uh, Aubrey Strauss is absent. Uh, she is out of town today. She notified us she would be unable to attend. Dan Viola. Here. Jason Greenleaf. Here. Rob McSorley. Present. Nick Rico. Here. And I'm Charles Anderson. Uh, approval of the minutes of the July 27th, 2017 workshop. So moved. Second. Moved and seconded. Any additions or uh, omissions to be? Uh, I have a few. Okay. A couple of omissions. Uh, End of first paragraph, but goes beyond. I'm not sure if we should put an EPA requirement. On the last page, second page. On the page. second page, sorry. <laughs> A paragraph. <laughs> but goes beyond. It goes beyond the requirements. I was going to say EPA requirements. Um, next paragraph down. Uh, it's a grammatical thing. Don't know if it was actually said or not, but the last word is it. It should be them. Next paragraph, first sentence. Uh, end of first line says, but it but does address this. I think she said fat soil and grease or fog, something like that, as opposed to this. And the next line, it says, and give, it should be gives the district authority to enact. This policy should be added. Good then. Any other? No. All those in favor as amended? Opposed. And the approval of the minutes of the July 27, 2017 regular monthly meeting. So moved. Second. Any corrections to offer? Any omissions? Nick? I have one. Page five, halfway down, it's a line that starts, Mr. Hughes said he had not received an easement. And then the next line, he said in his approval he did intend instead of intended. Yes. Thank you, Nick. Anyone else have anything to offer? If none, those in favor? With the corrections is noted. To zero. Superintendent's operations report. David. Okay. Um, a copy of the uh, monthly report of operations for the month of July is included in the packet. Average flow for the month was 1.21 million gallons per day. Our from quality was well within our permitted limits. We averaged 95% um, BOD removal and 96% TSS removal <coughs> with average concentrations of 12 and 10 milligrams per liter. <coughs> a copy of the pump station flows for the month of July is included in your packet. We have a couple of events when Zero flow was repro reported, which were the results of hydro ranges not reporting flow and a secondary control system taken over during those periods of time. Uh, we continue with our sludge hauling pilot test uh, to facilitate better distribution within the trailer. We cut two new discharge chutes in the screw conveyor. We continue to be at the higher end of the targeted tonnage and uh, there does seem to be a marked reduction in odor at the plant. Uh, we're all uh, really noticing that. Uh, the Vapex odor control unit uh, has been started up at the 
the pump station number two, which is the pump station at the uh, east on the eastern trail at Pine Point Road. Uh, there should be uh, there is now a marked reduction in the odors in and around that st station. Uh, we did have some initial startup problems uh, with the station, which resulted in some odor uh, complaints from the Primrose area. But uh, we have addressed those issues and, and resolved that, that uh, initial startup glitch. Uh, Ken Welch has passed the laboratory performance testing for BOD, TSS, edible solids, pH, and total residual chlorine. He will re be repeating the fecal coliform test. Um, as a result of the failure that we had at pump station one, um, we, have, we have been evaluating supplemental systems to augment our current system. One I had thought of was to program the pump station PLC to alarm in the event the pumps do not run within a pres prescribed uh, period of time. In discussions with our SCADA programmer, he took it one step further and moved the programming from the pump station PLC to the plant SCADA computer. Uh, he programmed the SCADA computer to send an alarm in the event the SCADA computer does not receive flow data from the pump station over a prescribed period of time. Uh, the benefit of this approach is that we're able to utilize this augmentation at all our pump stations with minimal additional programming. and. Um, we have tested this modification and have it active in all but three of our smallest stations as we figure out the time sequence that uh, is appropriate for nighttime flow. Uh, the mission manhole monitoring system is another system that we had chosen to enhance notification of a potential SSO at pump station one. Uh, the mission manhole monitor is a complete and independent alarm system. Uh, it includes the manhole monitor RTU, two quick uh, connecting floats and an antenna. Floats uh, tipped by a surcharge signal uh, mission servers um, to initiate notification via phone, email, text, message, fax, or pager. Um, we have received this unit and it is now installed and up and operational in that manhole just outside of uh, the wet well. Another thing that we've done, um, uh, our SCADA programmer has added what, we've call, what he calls a watchdog alarm system within the treatment plant. Uh, what this is is the uh, PLCs within the plant, um, of which we have seven, uh, monitor each other. And if one of them isn't, doesn't communicate back with the other one, it will automatically send an alarm. So we'll get instant notification of a failure of a PLC. And we have a startup of, uh, has been completed on the uh, duty aeration blower that occurred on August 11th. Um, it's now in service. Uh, we, we've been making some on our SCADA programming changes to accommodate this new piece of equipment, but it seems to be functioning well. Any questions? Questions to the superintendent? Okay. Jason. I just had a quick question regarding the DMRQA results. Ken Welch passed the laboratory performance. Is that mm -hmm. the test that Ken took as part of certification? Yeah, they, okay. they send um, annually, they send uh, uh, samples to us uh, that we have to analyze and send them back a result. Okay. And they have, um, you know, the, the, your answers have to fall within the range that their re the result is in order to continue with the testing program that we do. Understood. Thank you. Nick? Uh, I was just wondering about the programming that they did with the SCADA computer mm -hmm. for the pump stations. Do you have a flexibility to change the time between cycles for each station, or is it just one setting for all the stations that are out of? Uh, we right. have flexibility to change that timing for each station. Okay. We also have the flexibility to adjust the time for a nighttime mode and a daytime, and a daytime mode, mode at Good. each station. Good. Even better. Yeah, and that's, I think that's a pretty ingenious way to approach the, approach the problem without having to go through a lot of redundant uh, detection and, and signals. Yeah, I'm, I'm actually very excited about it. I've uh, had some conversations already with DEP about it, and they, they really like the approach. Yeah. Good. Um, the mission manhole monitor, is that now, is that going to be battery powered? Yep, it has a, um, 
battery operation. The battery's good for five year period of time. Uh, part, it has a self diagnostic, uh, it sends weekly reports uh, back, uh, including the, um, the uh, battery charge you know, level. So. Is it communicating by radio? It communicates by cellular um, okay. phone. So that's a cell phone service that we'll have to add to a... It's part of the package that comes with the mission uh, system. It's there, it, it, via cell phone, it communicates back to their um, uh, servers, and then their servers will, you know, and I can set it up however I want, will uh, disseminate the, uh, the alarm via text, uh, email, phone. So it's, so it's remotely, it's remotely monitored by mission, mission, yep. and then they'll contact. Then us. they contact us. Nice. Good. Thanks. Um, any other questions? We're good. Uh, correspondence. Five words. On behalf of the owners of Five Ward Street, Blaze Civil Engineers requested an ability to serve letter and approval of the building expansion. Our ability to serve and approval is attached. Um, this was just a small minor um, addition they were doing to the building. The only issue with it that I saw was they didn't um, provide, uh, we have an easement on that property and as a matter of fact we have uh, there are several easements across that property I believe in all there may be four easements uh, one with the town one with us one with um, Portland Water District and a, and a fourth with uh, and a budding parcel a drainage easement and uh, so the, that's the request that I had I want to see uh, updated um, drawings with regards to the easement and uh, making sure that they don't uh, infringe upon our rights there. What was that last part, David? Just to make sure they don't infringe upon our easement with regards to what, uh, the drainage modifications that they're doing. I want them to show our easement on there and I'll uh, evaluate that. I was going to ask about that. So the... Uh, <laughs> The intent then is not to have a plan submitted back to the board for approval. No, the, the, the there's no there's no change in the discharge limits that already are approved there, and there's correct. no change in these water characters. Yeah, the the building is remaining um, an office. Um, they're way below their 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 allocation at this point, and even with the building expansion, looking at a square footage basis, they would still be uh, under that. A minimal allotment. I assume they still have to do a site plan planning board. Yeah, that they do. So, um, at your request, then, are they going to show all four of those easements on their final site? That is my plan? understanding. The town actually is now um, queued in onto onto it mm -hmm. uh, with regard to what I picked up on, okay. and uh, they need they have to go back to the town. Okay. Questions, comments. We're going to old business, uh, and there is no old business on the agenda. So we move to new business, which is uh, an executive session for discussion concerning potential sale or lease of district property pursuant to Title I, MRSA, Section 4056C. So I would like a motion to recess to executive session, we will return uh, to, our, to our meeting. To Motion to adjourn to executive session. Recess. Second. Excuse me. Motion to recess to executive yes. session. Motion to recess. recess. Thank you. Second Good. to recess. Thank you. All those in favor? Proposed. We will. Town Manager's conference room.
monthly meeting and move on to the budget summary. Um, you have the seven month budget summary. I recommend approval. So moved. Second. Uh, any comments, questions? We're still tracking in good shape. Uh, we're under budget slightly, and I think we're going to continue that way, but you never can tell. Uh, but as of now, we're looking good. All those in favor? None opposed. Public comments. Any members of the public have any comments they'd like to make? No? Okay. There are no public comments, just a few giggles. <laughs> Trustee comments. Joe. I would just like to thank uh, again the superintendent and the staff for their continued efforts and uh, the work that they do. Rob. Oh, I'd like to uh, welcome our, our, our public this evening uh, for our meeting. Nice to have bodies here once in a while. Uh, just want to remind everybody that school is starting uh, very shortly and just be aware of uh, all the additional traffic and the uh, youngsters out on the road uh, when school starts and uh, look forward to another good year at school. Jason. No comments from me. Nick? Good luck to all the students going back to school. And no comments tonight. Thanks. Um, uh, I'd, I'd only like to thank the superintendent uh, as contained in his operations report for following up on those uh, alarm and telemetry problems that we've had and uh, making progress and making sure that we don't have uh, reoccurrences of that type of problem. So good job on that and thanks for being uh, proactive in those areas. Uh, so a motion to adjourn? So moved. Second, all in favor. We are adjourned. Great.